This video is sponsored by Cohen Financial. More on them later. Shouldn't all this be open? The structural engineer never got the memo that it's a view property. Welcome to the channel. This is where I review every single family home that comes on the market in Beverly Hills in about five minutes. And in today's episode, we're gonna review 1130 Carolyn Way, Beverly Hills north of Sunset. And it might be a deal, so buckle up and pay attention. And you know how it goes. In the first two minutes, I critique the property on my 10 factors of quality. And then after that, I will share with you guys how I would have marketed differently. And at the end of the video, I will share with you guys my favorite comp for valuation purposes. Who am I? How do I know all this stuff? My name is Arvin Hidal. I'm a real estate the agent by day based in Beverly Hills and a critic and an analyst and a real estate enthusiast at nighttime. Okay, you got that? Let's get the show started. Location, Beverly Hills north of Sunset. It's an absolute 10. Lot quality, over 17,000 square foot, about 90% flat. I'm going to give it an 8. Lot orientation, east facing. On the right side of the view, it's not the quietest street in Beverly Hills. I'm going to give it a 6. Lot utilization, no approach or frontage. It's so close to the street. Super big backyard for a view property. A little bit of a tight setback. I'm going to give it a six privacy one neighbor looks into some part of the backyard you're a little too close to your neighbors i'm going to give it a seven views very centered unobstructed downtown la views with a little bit of century city view on top of it i'm going to give it an eight scale and architectural style the scale is fantastic architecturally it's attractive but they've messed up they have not framed the view of this property whatsoever it seems like they didn't pay attention to where the views are and where the openings should be because there's a lot of columns and structure beams that obstruct your view look at exhibit a exhibit b and exhibit C. This is a huge opportunity miss. I don't know what they were thinking. It's one of the reasons why this property hasn't sold for a long time. I'm gonna give it a seven. Layout, it's disconnected and I'll tell you guys why. Look, there's like the West Wing and the East Wing and they just don't flow well with each other. And I really think you will spend 90% of your time in about 20, 30% of the property and you won't get much use from some of the areas in this house, just the way the flow runs. And for that reason, I have to give it a five. Finishes, very good finishes, very warm, timeless, cohesive. I'm gonna give it a seven. The X Factor, you get views, huge backyard, and a great basement. That is a very rare combo to have, but I don't see upside or a great ROI as a rental property. I'm still gonna give it a seven. Now, before I tell you the final score, a word from our sponsors, Cohen Financial. Do you know why I use Mark Cohen for my own mortgages? No, it's not because he's the most successful. Yes, he's originated $10 billion worth of loan in the last 10 years, which is great. It's unheard of, but good for him. What I care for is the fact that he doesn't bullshit me. Over the first phone conversation when I call him, he tells me immediately the best available rate in the market for the product that I'm looking for. And when he doesn't have it, he makes an introduction to the bank that it does. I respect that. He always delivers on his promises. Here's his phone number. Give him a call. And also don't forget to thank him for supporting your favorite channel. Okay, the Arvin score is a 71 and that's a C minus. Now you're thinking, Arvin, how would have you tried to sell this property differently? Look, I think they've done a great job with photography and staging. It looks really good, but it still hasn't sold after being on the market for 647 days. Now, you can't go back in time and fire the architect. You should have, but you can't do that. At this point, I think you should take the property off the market, let it breathe, give it to a hustler agent who's friends with the top 50 agents in the city. So he puts or she puts that property on the radar of all the top agents. So when the right buyer comes, you position it as an off-market property and sell it that way. Sometimes selling off-market is easier than selling on the market. Because if you don't do that, then you just have to do a price cut after price cut and price cut and sell it as a commodity. And I don't think this property deserves that because there's actually a very good comp right down the street that I'm about to share with you as my favorite comp. Look, I really like 1087 Maryland Drive. It's literally down the hill from this house. It was a brand new construction, 2,000 square foot smaller, smaller backyard, pushed up against a mountain, less light, no view, and it sold for $22.5 million at $2,100 a foot. This is a deal alert, ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's not a bad idea to contact the listing agents. Here's the information, call them. And if you want my expertise, here's my information. You can contact me at arvin at arvinhadot.com. Now, if you like this house, you will probably also like this property. And I also have to share something with you. 
The content of this video is purely my personal opinion. Real estate analysis is subjective in nature, and I don't guarantee the accuracy of information. In fact, you should go see the property yourself in person. You should review all the information available online. You should contact the city and form your own independent decisions. Now, if you like my content, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so you get notified when a new property hits the market in Beverly Hills. See you in the next episode.